to stand out you got to find yourself look around we mix we don't need to Ooh, fight baby. we just need to continue in life time is not on our side welcome to 21 youths calling launch this is our third week launching a song this week on uh, coming up tomorrow, I think it will be the song featured called Vibes. But in the meantime, 21 Youths Calling is happy to have in the studio none other than, uh, I think, uh, uh, what's your stage name again? What's KK Farkas. Uh, KK Farkas. So, wow. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here in the studio for 21 Youths Calling Projects that's sponsored by BCRC and also by the Secretariat des Relations avec la Communauté Anglophone au Québec. Uh, so how was your experience working on this project? Um, I really liked it. It showed me a lot of um, new experiences. Mm -hmm. And I wrote it with my father, so it was really nice. Oh, wow. That must have been uh, like you wrote together or, or? No, I wrote my part and you he already had him, his part in the track. Okay, sounds good. And um, and uh, wow. So what made you kind of do this experience? Was it like hard to convince you or what was the incentive? What what um, it was, was pretty it, uh, easy. My father just discover? asked me yeah, to right. to make a song yeah. about myself and yeah. I just went for it. Oh, okay. So it wasn't the money or anything like that 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 really uh, motivated you. No. It was more like to try something new and Yes. Try what your dad suggested. That's really, really cool. Um, so how was it working on this project with the different uh, different um, engineers and maestro and people that were guiding you? Um, was it? it was not that long, but it was a good experience. A lot of people helped me through this. Okay. And uh, the producer really did what they had to do. Okay. So have you heard the final product? Um, yeah, just a little, but not the whole song. Not the whole th song, eh? So you're looking forward to that. Yeah, sure. and everybody else's music too. Yeah, absolutely. There's quite some amazing music on 21 Youths Calling. Uh, so what inspired you to write your part of the of the song? Um, I was just writing my path and my journey of myself and um, just explaining how a youth would feel in this generation okay Sorry, maybe a little closer. Yeah. okay and how does a youth feel in um in this time in this um you know well, in this from that generation as you just mentioned we just want to be free and let let loose but in the independent way and just find ourselves way independent way and find ourselves Okay, and 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 that that project and that experience you just had, uh, did it it kind of bring you to that to, to be? Yeah, it pushed to me through to find myself even more. Okay, because by writing eh, and working with others, eh, yes, kind of brings up stuff in our in you, eh. So so what would be um, what was the guiding force or what what's the theme? What was the song uh, called? Your part, like what? your inspiration in the song um you gotta stand out yeah and stand tall because a lot of people try to break you down and it's just you need to always be strong enough and try to overcome things and just be there and be the bigger person and be and resilient life. yeah yes. absolutely well said um so um so that's what it means to you and, and that's what you wanted to convey to everyone that we need to stand tall and, and not let, uh, not not be pushed around and so on. Yes. Like yeah. So, uh, do you have any other plans of uh, writing songs or, um, or yes. lending your voice to projects? Can you yes. tell us a little bit? Um, no, and I don't want to talk too much because then you never know if it doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, but still, what are you dreaming? Okay, like, without making a fixed plan, a solid plan, what are you dreaming of doing? What are you contemplating? Um, R&B. R&B singing, yeah. And you would continue singing or you would just reproduce songs that are maybe um, done by A little course? bit of both. I want to try everything in the music industry. Okay, so you're planning to 
to engage uh, down that road to uh, to try a couple more stuff, eh? Yes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hear your 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 part of the song and everything. Uh, so, uh, which which group, musician, uh, band inspires you these days the most? Um, um, yeah, Rihanna. Okay. I really love Rihanna. That's my favorite artist. Okay, that's uh, pretty clear down there. And do you have any male artists, or is it again Rihanna? Um, you. Okay, wow, that's a compliment towards me. Uh, that I can be an inspiration for you too, uh, in that way. Um, by the way, I'm her father, so <laughs> so if anyone didn't know, um, and and um, so so um, what else could you say about this project that that touched you or or made you feel uh, feel part or that you? Uh, I really feel like it helped the youth, just not me, but other people I see in the studio, mm -hmm. and. It just break through, help me through music, and just really make me push through and continue to get to know yourself maybe a little better, right? Yes. Yeah, because music does that. It makes it makes uh, you figure out. Well, it makes it makes um, so I the good and the bad come out. Let's put it that way, and you can express it in different, you know, through music, through singing. Mm -hmm. Your music is your identity. Absolutely, it can be. It can be, and it don't hit. You know, it don't. No matter what you say, it cannot hurt you so bad, like, you know, physical pain or something. So in that way, we can all grow. Um, so any any uh, other thing you would like to tell us about your experience uh, in the field of working uh, with music? Or are you planning? What are your plans for the next couple of uh, weeks pertaining to... Uh, I know you just said you don't want to talk too much about it. But, um, but I mean, sometimes it's hard because you guys have writer's block and you just don't know what to think of. So yeah. you just have to think outside the box and just really figure out what you could do and not just... Talk, some people talk in their music just about like themselves but you can mm -hmm. talk about what's going on and everything else around you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. other people's stories and, or, do and does prefer? it always have to be about you no i know but in the rap world i think it's a lot personal a yeah lot of, but um so you like both or you like more yeah about i like both you like to talk about yourself sometimes and metaphors are really nice you know when you yes. can kind of slide it in there so that the people can make it their own you know and True. and it still answers something inside of the artists themselves so that can be really really cool so so you've discovered yourself uh, you've experienced yourself would you do this uh again if this if this kind of project were to reappear um yes i would write my own song okay yeah and you got all kinds of beat makers that you actually know quite a few of them. Yeah. Um, wow. And um, yeah, so um, is there anything else you'd like to add, uh, KK, to this, uh, to this interview? Um, no. Um, no? No. No, you look like uh, you're ready to go and, and sing some more or something like that. So on that <laughs> note, we're going to wish you all the best with your, your future projects, especially pertaining to uh music singing and so on and uh we're, we're gonna let you go and wish you uh to hear the the full album soon we're all we're all waiting the piece uh there's another piece uh, there's another track that's gonna come out tomorrow called i believe vibe and uh so everyone should stay air tuned to hear that and when i say tomorrow i'm talking about friday the 15th of april Thank you. Have a great day, everyone.